Hello Gemini, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time and what are the energies between you and this other person. So let's jump right in Gemini. We're going to actually pick a couple of oracle cards to see what's going on in your connection between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. All right. And angels guides messages for Gemini for Gemini what is going on between Gemini and their person what is going on for Gemini in love with their person so Gemini keep in mind these readings are general and this reading is best for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind for Gemini Okay, we have number 33, you will be rewarded. Hmm. I heard patience. Bottom of the deck, we have summer. Something could be happening around summertime, um, in the summer months. Okay, let me get more for you, Gemini. What else? What else for Gemini? What else? What's going on for Gemini, between Gemini and their person? We have falling leaves, time changes everything. Considerate, thoughtful, and generous. Again, that's that goes with that you will be rewarded energy and taking action. So time has changed something for someone in this connection. Maybe time has passed. Um, since you've been with this person. Um, but I feel like someone's taking action here and it's almost like a reward. I'm going to use this in a little bit, this secret moon. Let's put down your energies with the tarot. Let me get some more insight, please, for Gemini. This um, deck just to be completely transparent with you guys is completely upright. Um, I just felt like doing that this time around for the you and thems. And I'm still gonna, I'm probably not gonna use my clarifying deck. I'm probably just gonna clarify with the same deck, but tell me about Gemini's connection with this other person. Tell me about Gemini's connection. Can you tell me about Gemini's connection? Ace of Wands and Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like um, it, it's like someone has been waiting around for a new beginning, a new start with the Ace of Wands. And they've been through a lot or it's, it has taken some time. Because for me as a reader, the Nine of Wands, but especially the Ten of Wands, is a card about difficulties over time. You're collecting wands as you go. And it gets to the point where at the Ten of Wands, the load is overwhelming you cannot carry on or it's very difficult to carry on um, because you've collected all of these wands well the nine of wands is a card about um, the wounded soldier so you've been through a lot but you're not giving up you're still willing to protect yourself defend yourself guard yourself um, so I, I i get the sense that someone has not given up in this connection when it comes to like whatever is meant to happen um, bottom of the deck, I have the death card, Scorpio energy here. And I'm just going to put this down here as well. Um, change, transformation, endings, cyclical changes. Uh, because with the death card, uh, every ending has a beginning. So let's look at both of your energies. I'm going to have your energy on one side, Gemini, and your person's energy on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Gemini's energy. Tell me about Gemini's energy. Oop. That was a sloppy shuffle. Sorry, Gemini. This deck is a little bit too big for my hands, but I love using it. Tell me about Gemini's energies. Energy. Six of Wands. Can I get one more for Gemini? 
You know, one more for Gemini. Judgment. Okay. Second chances. Um, success. A judgment call, an awakening of some sort. We'll have to see. I think it's a second chance just because of the other cards that I've gotten so far. It's almost like um, you're almost at the finish line here with judgment because after judgment is the world and you envision success. Um, I think this nine of wands is somebody that can visualize success with this other person. And that's why despite the time that has passed, they have hope. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person. Three of Swords. Tell me about Gemini's person. The person Gemini is dealing with spirit. What do we need to know? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Hmm. Well, your person has gone through possibly a difficult situation here. Heartbreak, disappointment with the Three of Swords. Let's get some more insight. Let's get some more insight for Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know about the energies spirit, between Gemini and this other person? Tell me about Gemini's energies. Tell me about Gemini's energies. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. So either this person has not opened up to you or you have not opened up to them. Um, tell me about this other person that Gemini is dealing with, the person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their energies? Person that Gemini is dealing with. I'm working on myself. Hmm. I'll be messaging you at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person has something to say. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. I have, I'll have i be messaging you. So I have a feeling that this might be more them. This energy here. Although I don't get the sense. I, it's very possible you're not even talking to this person at this time. Not really communicating at this time. So, okay. Let's get a little bit more insight with the tarot let's look at this death card why is death here why is death here the tower oh my goodness I heard brutal <laughs> okay a tower moment that has happened. So either a tower moment has happened in this connection already in the past. Um, or a tower moment is happening to at least one of you. Because both of your energies are here in what's going on between you. Um, I feel like some sort of ending has happened. Like a, a big ending for one of you. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's working on things. Now, your person has, I'm working on myself. So it could be that this is a someone taking effort, making plans, diligently working on something, focused on something. Again, I'm, I get this sense, um, this energy is like time has passed. Like someone has been working on something for some time. Let's see, what else can we get with this Ace of Wands? What else do we need to know with this Ace of Wands? Ten of Swords, another card about an ending. And what's this? The Moon, Pisces Energy. So I, this person could be working behind the scenes, working diligently on something like um, secretly. 
Ten of Swords, Death Tower. Something big has happened or is about to happen. Um, I just, it's it just keeps showing up. We have King of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like someone's uh, doing, having an emotional change as well. And then there's a five of cups, maybe due to regrets, disappointments. And I that could be your person because they have the three of swords. Tell me about the nine of wands. Let me move this over here. Why is the nine of wands here? Why is the nine of wands here? Wow, ace of pentacles. Yeah, exactly. Someone can visualize this opportunity or knows there's an opportunity on the other side of all of this. A promise, the potential for something long term, something substantial, a proposal perhaps. It's like someone can, you know, if this is your person that is the wounded soldier and has been through a lot, they can still see themselves having an opportunity at the end of all of this. It's almost like all of my difficulties will be worth it. All of my sacrifices will be worth it. Can I get one more for this nine of wands? Four of pentacles, yeah. I feel like this is someone that has held back or has protected something very, it's almost like they've kept something very close to them, their chest or or just this is something very important to them is this goal or aspiration. This could even be you, a symbol for you, Gemini. Um, and Gemini, this could be you as well that has protected this idea or dream. I, I, I just get the sense that this is someone's like what they value or what they feel they should protect um for others maybe this could be financial but let's see what's at the bottom of the deck oh yeah ten of cups exactly so this i feel is someone's you know hidden dream secret dream or just a dream that they've had for a long time and they keep it close to their heart because it's so personal and so valuable despite all of the difficulties i feel like whenever things get tough this person thinks about this you know it's like okay well life might suck right now but i know it's going to lead to something great i know that it's not going to be forever i know that eventually such and such will happen or i'll have my happy ending my big opportunity will come etc etc but it's you know this difficulty is big death and the tower are you kidding me horrible <laughs> In the sense of there's no preparation, there's no preparing for this level of ending, you know, or change. It's like things that happen to you and you just have to hold on for dear life. Will it lead to a new beginning? I see that. Ace of Wands is right here. Um, but it's not without someone making serious effort. You know, this is for someone. Someone's going to be rewarded for their hard work and effort. Um... This is not someone that's just sitting around and, you know, hoping that an opportunity presents itself. You know, like this is someone that's actively working on something, whether it's saving their money, investing, whether it's getting out of a situation, um, working on themselves in counseling or something like that. So let's see more about your energies over here. Tell me about the six of wands and judgment. Tell me about the Six of Wands and Judgment. What do we need to know? About the Six of Wands and Judgment. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Six of Wands and Judgment. What do we need to know about these energies? The Empress, wow. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, Strength, Leo energy. Um, Gemini, when I see these two energies together, uh, the Six of Wands, um, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands and the Empress with the Six of Wands and Judgment, I think that someone's going to get what they want and deserve. Not only what they want, but what they deserve. 
Queen of Wands and the Empress. If there's anybody that will get anything done or manifest is these two. And again, the Queen of Wands, very active. And the Empress is a symbol for abundance, growth, fertility, creativity. She's a symbol for what's valuable, um, very um, beautiful energy with the Empress. Um, but when you c combine her with the Queen of Wands, it's like someone's using this energy to get something done. And with judgment here, it's almost like you could be manifesting success or abundance here. You could be manifesting victory, a second chance. Let's see what else we can get here for you. Can I get one more energy for Gemini? Let me get one more energy for Gemini. Let me get one more energy for Gemini. This could also be how someone views you, Gemini. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel like you're disconnected from the person that you have already met that you feel is for you. Let's look at your person's energy. Tell me about this Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. When I see these two energies together, I think of someone that has their life together, but is very is suffering. Or they are very stable, grounded um, individuals, but they are in pain. You know, it's, it's very interesting. So let's see what we get here. Tell me about the Three of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this person three of swords and the queen of pentacles the hangman go with the three of swords i don't think you can see let me move this down here we go tell me about the three of swords and the hangman tell me about the three of swords not the three of swords and the hangman the three of swords and the queen of pentacles about the three of swords and the queen of pentacles ten of wands yeah this person has been burdened for some time can i get one more just want to get one more three of swords and the queen of pentacles they are on a path where it's gotten to the point that they can't really carry this yeah five of cups so your person is having some sort of cr like probably even like a depression or like some sort of personal crisis um i feel like this is someone that's overwhelmed by their pain their heartbreak their disappointment um bottom of the deck the knight of cups with the five of cups i'm getting someone that is regretful and wanting to apologize express themselves express you know their feelings towards you Get one more energy for this person as well can i get an energy please for this person gemini is dealing with what do we need to know about this person i can tell you they're not doing well this could be the one it shows up again you've already met the romantic partner you seek so you're both kind of in the same boat here pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you um, what's behind that soulmate wow okay so i get the sense that your person is going through some sort of perhaps like um a wake-up call or they're realizing something with the hangman because the hangman is all about seeing things from a different perspective you're able to look at something from a different angle and so you get some sort of enlightenment or clarity because of that i think this person's realizing that they're missing something in their life let me get one more for them. I'm just curious. Let me get one more energy for this person Gemini is dealing with. Or will be dealing with. Let me get one more energy for this person Gemini is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? Despair. Oh, yeah. Very, very similar energy to what we've already seen. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. 
I think this person really misses their their soulmate or miss misses the person that perhaps made them feel um happy or at least this is somebody that understood them because i get the sense that this person's very alone let me get one more secret moon for this person can i get one more energy please what is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to gemini or this connection what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to gemini or this connection i have a choice to make What's at the bottom of the deck? I have to give something up. Oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> you have to give something up. I would take it all back if I could is after that. So that's why your person is so burdened because this is a, someone who they're probably thinking about life, you know, where life has brought them, um, the choices they've made and how those choices have affected their present. Um, I think this is someone that misses you, misses your connection. Um, this is someone that is in despair. <laughs> They're not doing well, Gemini. And it's because they were not meant to do well with those choices that they made. You know, again, these are all just karmic lessons and cycles that we go through. Um, nobody is perfect. We are bound to make mistakes. Some of us make bigger mistakes than others, though. And I think that's what happened here, because now your person is heartbroken, disappointed and missing you badly. I mean, that's really what I would summarize all of this here for. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Gemini, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading. Uh, leave a comment if this reading resonated for you or you want to just claim or share your story. And um, I will see you all in another video very soon. Thank you so much.